What's going on gang? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I just wanted to come do a quick video and make it quick as possible. I've got this tool that I've been had sitting on my shelf for a while. Uh, for a while. This is the Hang 'em Fast Joist Hanging Tool. And that's just what it is. It's a, it's a device made for hanging joists on ledgers, like when you're doing um, a deck or anything like that. So I figured that I would go ahead and bring it out and show you all how to use it. So stay tuned for the video, um, it's coming up next. Okay guys, so as I stated in the intro of the video, this is the Hang 'em Fast Joist Hanging Tool. And it's a pretty simple but um, yet effective tool. So it's just what it says, it's made for when you're hanging joists on ledger boards. So as you can see the way it's made, it's made to fit the joist, I mean the hanger inside of it. So what you do is you just simply slide it in and it's got slots here on the back, like the open slots here. So just simply squeeze it until they line up and push it in until it stops. So as you can see, it stops where it's flush. And I've already made some pre-marks here on my ledger board, or well, my simulation of a ledger board to show you how it works. Um, it's got the instructions here on it. So I figured I would read a few of these um, two years now, it, 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 it's good for um, wood products from 2x4, 2x6, 2x8, 2x10, and 2x12. That's what this particular Joyce Hanger Tool, Joyce Hanger Tool is um, set up for. Um, like I say, I'll probably just do um, some um, screenshots or whatnot of these job cords and post them in the video. Um, just step one, slide the the joist hanger into the hang them fast um, tool, which we've already done. Step two, line up the tool with your marks um, and make sure that the bottom lip, the bottom lip of the tool makes contact with the ledger board. Uh, step three, use a nail gun to secure the joist hanger to the ledger board. And I'm just gonna, just for ease of use, I'm gonna use my screw gun today. Um, just to, cause I'm running out of daylight, so I'm trying to make it as quick as possible. And pull off the tool, leaving the joist hanger once you're done. So it's that simple, just four simple steps. And I'm gonna move you in a little closer, just so you can see the product in action. So stay tuned. Okay gang, as you can already see, I've already got my lines laid out for my two by material. This is a two by six and I just happen to have a, tube, uh, a scrap piece of two by six material laying around. And like I say, it's got this lip here that all you simply do is just hold it up to the bottom edge of the, of the ledger board and line it up where you'd like it to go. And as I stated earlier, I'm just gonna use my impact drill here just to make it quick and easy. Okay, and like I say, once you get that first screw in, first nail, as you can see, it will stay by itself. Just make sure that it's good and tight and snug. Okay. thing you do is just simply pull it out. I got a little off my mark, but you get the, the general idea. And then like I say, the only thing you need to do is just stick your material in there. It's nice and flush. So there you go. It's pretty, like I say, it's a pretty simple but effective tool. Okay, that's gonna conclude this video. Like I say, I was trying to keep it as short as possible. Didn't wanna bore you all too long, but just wanted to, like I say, shed some light on the Hang'em Fast Joist Hanging Tool. Again, this, this is a nice lightweight product. I'll, I'll post all the specs in the, um, either somewhere over on this side or on that side somewhere throughout the video. 
like I say, very cost effective product. I think they're between $20, $25. It says this is, um, it says it's a lightweight metal, but I feels kind of plasticky to me, but that's neither here nor there. Um, like I say, this does products, wood products from two by four to a two by 12. Like I say, simple and easy to use. Um, like I say, very ergonomic for the hand. And like I say, if you have any questions or want to see anything else related with this tool, please feel free to leave it down in the comments below and I will respond back to you as quickly as possible. And I thank you all for tuning in and watching. We'll see you in the next one.